I'm Pippa Carrera and I've just won Journalist of the Year. So a lot of this is about political journalism in general, but in particularly, particularly um, to do with the Partygate story, which I first heard about at a time when we were all living under these really strict rules which were imposed by the government, and most people, I think, were sticking to them. And I subsequently found out that people at the heart of government hadn't actually been sticking to them. In fact, they'd been flouting them. There was a series of social events in the heart of government and we exposed them. Um, I guess the rest is history. There was a, it wasn't just the first, the first exclusive, there was six months of stories by other journalists as well. I mean, ITP's Paul Brand in particular deserves a call out because he did huge amounts of work on this as well. But over the subsequent months, it really put jo Boris Johnson in a very difficult position. Ultimately, it was about his integrity at the heart of it, and he lost the faith of his Tory MPs. There were other factors too, but ultimately led to his downfall. It's a huge amount. I mean, I'm actually, I feel very, um, I feel a bit shaky about it, if I'm completely honest. Um, it was absolutely lovely to get the recognition of your peers in this way. I mean, in some ways, right, to do the Partygate story was a pretty lonely path. Um, we, particularly when you're faced with sort of denials and obfuscation that we met from Number 10, from government departments, and from the Prime Minister himself. But we ploughed on because we were sure that we were, we were onto something, we, we trusted our sources. And uh, you know, and we felt that it was worth it was worth pursuing. So to have sort of public recognition of like of this is incredibly special. So thank you.